Hello friends, uh, today I'm going to be preparing gole bhaji or also known as gole bhaji. Uh, this is a Mangalorean uh, snack recipe. It's served during tea time. It's very simple to prepare, very tasty. Let's look into the method and process and get started. First of all, what I've done is I've added two cups of uh, sifted maida or all-purpose flour in a mixing bowl. Now to this, I'm going to go ahead and add a chopped fresh coconut. If you do not have a fresh coconut in your house, don't worry, you can definitely add desiccated coconut. I've added half an inch ginger which is grated, few sprigs of uh, curry leaves which I've chopped finely and uh, chilies finely chopped. I've also added uh, crushed peppercorns, salt as per taste and also add a generous pinch of uh, soda bicarb at this point because uh, I totally forgot about it and I added it later. I'm going to give this a good mix. I'm going to go ahead and add uh, yogurt. I'm going to give this a good mix. I'm going to start using my hands and give this a good mix and make sure there are no lumps in this batter. Check for salt. If uh, salt is required, do add salt. Now once I finish mixing this batter, I'm going to allow this to rest for about half an hour's time on the kitchen counter itself and I'm going to allow this to ferment. This batter should be in Meduvada batter consistency. You should easily pick the batter and drop it in the oil. Now while my batter is uh, fermenting, I'm going to go ahead and prepare a coconut chutney. This is most requested coconut chutney recipe from all my family members and friends who have tasted my coconut chutney. What I've done is I've added roasted Bengal gram in a mixer jar, to that I've added coconut, chilies as per taste, little bit of tamarind and a few pods of garlic. I've also added salt as per taste. I'm just going to add a dash of water and grind this into a smooth paste. That's it. This is my coconut chutney. Now I'm going to go ahead and temper the coconut chutney. I've gone ahead and heated a fry pan with one tablespoon of oil. To that I'm going to add mustard seeds. Asafoetida, chilies and a few curry leaves. I'm going to give this a basic tadka. This coconut chutney is absolutely yummy with dosas, idlis, you name it, it's wonderful. You can also say, uh, serve this for vadas, medu vadas. It's a very nice coconut chutney. Normally people add ginger to this, but I prefer adding garlic. Do try this, it's a wonderful chutney. I'm going to be serving this chutney for gole bhaji. Now, I've gone ahead and heated oil in a wok on medium flame. I'm just going to wet my hands, take that batter and drop it in the oil. If you're not comfortable using your hands, please use a tablespoon and drop the batter. This is very simple recipe, do try this, kids will absolutely love this. The coconut and the peppercorns taste yummy in this dish. This is an instant snack if you have guests at home and it's a wonderful dish especially for monsoons.
once uh, my bhajis are turned light golden brown in color i'm just going to drain it from the oil and uh, place it on a tissue paper and allow all the oil to drain out and i'm going to serve this hot with chutney now i've started to fry the second batch this will fry uh, 15 seconds each side and that's about it it's very easy to prepare once you have the batter ready my blog to take a print out of this text recipe I'll be posting the blog link in the about bar below this video I keep posting uh, regular updates on my Facebook do like and follow me on my Facebook and I've also posted the same recipe in Tamil language the Tamil channel uh, link also will be in the about bar below this video if you're a South Indian you can subscribe to me on my Tamil channel if you like this video do give me a thumbs up and subscribe to me for more videos I keep posting reviews and a lot of recipe on a regular basis. Now once my gole bhaji is done, I'm just going to drain it from the oil and serve it hot with the coconut chutney. Do try this recipe friends and post your comments, share this recipe with your friends and family and do let me know how your gole bhaji is turned out. I've gone ahead and served my gole bhaji with coconut chutney. This is Vidya Lakshmi. I'll be seeing you soon with the next recipe video. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.